Hello, I'm Joe Lavacek with Pro One Thermostats. Today I'm here to talk to you about our new ProSync wireless platform. The ProSync wireless platform is designed for those applications where you don't have enough wires, maybe a broken wire, you're adding on equipment like an add-on heat pump or a multi-stage piece of equipment without the need to run additional wires. Nice thing about this platform, it's not only a high-end wireless thermostat that, by the way, is universal, so it'll work with just about any piece of equipment. We also have a series of remote sensors so that we can do averaging or control based upon where the space is being used, what rooms are being used. So today I'm going to kind of run through a short presentation with you to give you a high-level overview of the product and introduce you to what we feel is the new standard in wireless thermostats for the market. So to start out with, um, there are two different components, if you will, that make up the system. The T755WHO, which is a standalone wireless thermostat, up to two heat, two cool, two cool conventional, or four heat, two cool heat pump. The two components that make up this wireless thermostat is the thermostat that goes on the wall, which is typically battery powered, but we also provide RNC terminals so that you can provide 24 volts and avoid having to change batteries. And then a control module that wires at the HVAC equipment itself, has some nice diagnostic LEDs on there to help the installer and tell you how it's performing. The other component that makes up this system is a remote sensor. Totally optional, but it gives you some flexibility to control temperature in various areas of the home, depending upon occupancy or a schedule. You can have up to 15 of these remote sensors. You can see they look a lot like a thermostat, and they do give you some basic thermostat control. So a little bit more about the, the, the platform. First of all, the T755WHO is a perfect solution, as I mentioned, for upgrading equipment. Uh, fixing a, a broke wire or a missing wire in the wall. If you want to move a thermostat to a more advantageous location to control the space for comfort purposes, um, or any other opportunity where the contractor needs something wireless because they just don't have wires. Um, it's really important, obviously, if we're going to add secondary controls or remote controls so the entire system can be wireless, or again, we do provide those 24-volt terminals. One of the unique applications that we see for this platform is to correct that age-old issue with upstairs is too hot, downstairs is comfortable. Um, and while this is not a zone control system in terms of providing dampers to control the conditioned air to where it's needed, it's a great solution for retrofit because we can at least put the control in the space that's being used. For example, at night when you're sleeping, you want to have the control upstairs. And then during the day, when you're not using the bedrooms, have the control at the uh, main thermostat location. And this can be controlled two ways, either by a program in the thermostat, and everything is programmed through the main thermostat, or you can use occupancy sensing. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. So again, here's kind of a graphic view of what the system looks like all together. Main thermostat in whatever location you want to have the main control and the programmability. The equipment module, which again wires right at the HVAC equipment, provides all of your R, W, Y, multi-stage, W2, uh, Y2. It also controls humidity. So if you have a humidifier or a dehumidifier, and you can have both simultaneously, uh, can be controlled. And that's what's represented by the H in, in the uh, product name. Uh, secondarily, we can have remote sensors. Again, up to 15 of those located strategically where you need the control, and they can be programmed or, again, uh, through occupancy sensor. Each of the units can be programmed to have the location. Makes programming much simpler to know if I'm going to program the master bedroom, I can see it on the main thermostat when I'm doing that programming. Basically, this is how the system works. Each of the thermostat, main thermostat, and or remotes control or communicate directly to the equipment module, module via RF radio technology. The range is up to 300 feet obstructed, up to 1,000 feet unobstructed. So we give great range, and that's really what um, gives you reliability in any wireless platform. Again, I mentioned the uh, equipment module and main thermostat come together in the same uh, package, provide that two-way communication, and you really only need one of these for the system. It's the main controller. 
And then again, remote sensors, still up to four heat to cool, and uh, provides that two-way communication up to 14 locations within a, an, a, a structure. So there are three ways to control the system. I can system average and just have the main controller look at the average over the entire homer structure and average all those temperatures together and control to the set point that's established at the main thermostat. Or I can schedule for certain times of the day, I want to have a specific thermostat or remote that is in the control. So for example, I mentioned that upstairs, downstairs, so day, night, I can schedule for daytime control uh, on the main level and I can control the second level in the evening. And then finally, the occupancy sensor. First of all, we can operate it, again, using the, the occupancy sensor to simply know when somebody is in that space until movement is seen in the other zone. So we call that last seen. The other thing that we can do is any of the thermostats that see occupancy simultaneously, those remotes and or main thermostat will be averaged together to provide that control. We hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to reach out to me for additional information or if you have any questions, please feel free to do so. Thank you for your time today.